Yo, this, this is the saddest part of a freezy is the bottom. I'm, I'm serious. Last week or, or two weeks ago, I was with my mom. We were in downtown Ottawa, which is where I live. And we were on this like waterfall thing, I guess. It's like, I don't know, it was like, basically it was near the governor general's house and there's waterfalls. And then there's like a bridge where you can walk across the waterfalls without actually like walking on the waterfalls because I'm pretty sure you'd go and <laughs> bye. Um, so I was with my mom and we were walking down there. And, you know, we're just having, like, a girls' day, which is great. B2W, my mom is going to be in another video soon, so you guys watch out for that. Initially, this is what happened, is we went across the bridge, right? And then we were talking, and then we crossed the bridge again. And every time that we had crossed the bridge, there were two guys on their bikes, and they were both speaking French. This does play into the story. Let me tell you that. So we were walking and we were just talking about things like we were talking about uh, my school we were talking about my transition we were talking about you know when we we're gonna like pick up my dad we were talking about a lot of things just because that's what we were doing talking like girls talk you know at this point we crossed the bridge we came back so we were walking to um towards the this french embassy and I was like to my mom, why are we walking here? Why don't we like walk through the, this like little, um, it, was, it wasn't like an alleyway, but there were just like hedges there. So we were about to like walk through this place that we had come through before. But my mom was like, oh, let's just walk down to the French embassy. And I was like, whatever, okay, like that's really random, but okay. So as we were walking, I remember asking my mom, like if there was one thing that, I asked her like, what was your biggest fear? And then she was just like, like losing my kids or something and I was like okay stop being so emotional like something random like spiders or something and she was just like I don't know probably getting into a car crash and I was like same right so then I asked her mom what are your pet peeves and at this point we were crossing like it was like a parking lot right and we were going to the other side of the parking lot and this guy comes around on his bike and he was just staring at me like dead ass staring in my eye and I was like dude what the fuck are you doing so I thought okay like because I've experienced it a lot before where guys stare at me but when I was with my mom this is the weird part so I was my mom was like hey okay, so let's say this is my mom and then this is me and the guy came around okay now pretend like I'm still here right? so then pretend this is a guy and he like came around my mom and do you want to know what he freaking did? He goes to my mom and he's like, excuse me, ma'am, is that your daughter? And I was like, what? So my mom was like, oh yeah, that is my daughter. And he dead ass got off of his bike, okay? And he was like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful and you're so tall, you're so stunning. And I was like, why? Like what? Like why? I, I didn't even say thank you. I'm pretty sure I was just like, what's going on? So my mom was talking to him and he was like, how long have you guys lived here for? And my mom was like, oh, we've lived here forever. And he was like, oh, I moved down from Montreal. And I was like, dude, I didn't ask for your life story. No one asked for your life story. So he was like oh what are your names and i was like mom please don't tell him our names please don't tell him our names and she did so my mom was like oh i'm rose and this is Belle." and i was just like hi nice to meet you okay that was like whatever he was just being nice but then it gets weird so he was like okay asked my mom and he was like with your authorization may i take your daughter out to coffee tonight and i was just like oh no that did not just happen like he did not just ask my mom permission to take me to coffee and my mom was like what the fuck no i think he, if you knew her age you probably wouldn't because i'm 17 right and he dead ass was like oh no that's fine i'll give you my card and you can call me and i was like <gasps> i don't want your card So it was the weirdest experience because he literally asked my mom if he could take me out on a date. And I was like, 
do I have a say in, in this or like like do Dude, like, the conversation's about me, and you didn't even ask me to cough. You asked my mom if you could take me. Yeah, so that happened, and I was just like, whoa, that's really weird. I have more stories for you, but I have to go. So, I will see you guys later. Mwah.